A home is a special place where we find comfort and create memories with family and friends. Next, interesting conversations from those who have walked the home ownership journey. For anyone thinking of investing in real estate, I can see the time is now. Real estate is the future. You're able to see your assets grow, see your investment grow, and also something that is going to give you passive income, that is additional stream of income over time. So if you want to invest in real estate, this is the time. My advice to the young people would be, start now. If you want to invest in real estate, the time is now. As it is said, a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. Take a leap of faith. Start saving. There are so many options. You can get mortgage financing from banks, but at least when you have saved something, you are able to bargain and get good deals even from the banks or financial institutions. But the thing is, start the journey now. What I would tell someone who is buying a new home is that due process is very important. Don't rush, and also dig deeper about uh, the person you're buying the house from. Look at their history. Have they done any projects before? It's not that uh, somebody new comes and they're... Like those things in Facebook, they are putting up very nice things on the social media, but when you go on the ground, there is nothing that is happening. So make sure you do your due diligence, do your searches, involve a, a lawyer who will also assist you, and then also go to the internet, look at the profile of that company that you are buying from and also visit them. Interact with the people who have bought from them so that also you are able now to make an informed decision. But my parting shot would be that getting your own house would be the best thing that you can do. That's the best gift that you can give to your loved ones. So I would really urge young people that um, save, and get your own house. One, it gives you that peace of mind, and two, it's an appreciating asset, such that in case of an uncertainty, you can be able to have a fallback position. So I really, really would urge young people, if you have uh, extra cash, save for your house. You'll never neglect owning your own house. Once you identify a premises and you say this is an apartment or this is a building that I'm interested in, first you have to do your due diligence. That I'm sure by now everyone knows due diligence. However, it is important to have a legal rep a pro a a professional representing you. Not because you can't do it, but because they know much more. They are an expert in this. They know much more than you do. So once you do your search, they will be able to find out whether there are any encumbrances, whether there are any disputes, whether the, the green card is missing, and so there, there are red flags that should be addressed. Yes, we have had people selling people's lands. Yes. People constructing on people's property, mm -hmm. and then you're caught up in disputes for the rest of your lives. Mm -hmm. You have lost money. You look for that developer, he's nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. You waste money chasing after the money that... So you have to be very careful. Get a legal professional, not just any legal professional, a legal professional that is good at their job and integrity is number one. Mm. They don't do shortcuts. So they are able to go to the Ministry of Lands, do a proper comprehensive due diligence. They are able to do a due diligence on whoever is selling the property to you. Are they real? If it is an individual, are they who they say they are? If it is a limited liability company, is it what they say they, they are, the development that, that they are doing, is it money funded from money that has been laundered or proceeds of crime? We know that is very live today. So you have to do due diligence. Then you have to ap appreciate the di dynamics and that is why it is important to get a lawyer. Now we have capital gains tax. Those are issues that you have to look into. You have the anti-bribery. You know, people are telling you, give me facilitation fee. No, that is against the law. And uh, once the crack, uh, the, the whip is cracked, people will find themselves in trouble. So you, you, there are many dynamics to look at. So once your due diligence is covered, the property itself, is it of sound structure? 
today we have people who are selling you houses off plan or like you bought off plan yes and we have been following and working with it because w- when we got to the house the walls had the internal walls had not been done but the structure was up and what they are they were working on and are still completing is the show house which is a floor or so above us so you you have to come and look at the structure you have to look at the plans get a, a, a someone who is experienced to look at the plans do they make sense are the walls okay you know is the structure sound get you don't know as well yes independent not what the developer and his people and contractor are telling you someone completely independent let them have a look then they will tell you for sure this is a sound structure um so as you carry on you will not have situations where the house is leaking and it's uh, four, five, six, seven, ten floors up water is coming from someone's toilet all the way down to your house your ceiling and your kitchen so you have to be careful about such things other than that what is most also very important is the sale agreement and this documents that you sign prior you will get a reservation probably reservation letter you pay some deposit before you go to the sale agreement and you see once you have paid some money at the reservation stage you're bound and then they will tell you there down there they will always tell you that you will sign their standard sale agreement you have to be very careful when you're putting pen to paper uh and remember also do not ever do a transaction on land that is mimi na wewe gentleman to make handshake wishik. handshake no. That is against the, the law. We have uh, the Law of Contract Act which is very clear when it is a, a transaction relating to land it must be in writing. So if you shake hands and you go to court the court will look at you and tell you ignorance of the law is no defense. So goodbye. You've lost your money, figure it out. So make sure you it is in writing number one, And make sure the content because for us when we are purchasing our home The interesting thing is that I insisted whatever is on the brochure I must get it. Uh whatever you're promising me right now and whatever we showed on the show yes must be what you're signing in the sale agreement. Mm. And all the amendments and proposed changes we wanted to the premises. So all those were included in the reservation letter. And then thereafter we did the sale agreement which was also watertight. Believe you me Immediately thereafter, two three weeks later, they tell us, "Oh, you know, we will need to move this and put it here." We told them, "No, no, no. This is the, what, what we agreed. It, what is in, what is on the brochure?" Yes. What does it show? I want exactly that. That is what you sold to me. That is what I bought. That is exactly what I want. They called the engineers. They called the owners from out of the country. I don't know who. Turkey. But there is nothing. The Turkey and Egypt. But there is nothing they could do. So we were able to get what we wanted. Now, assuming. we had just signed and would have given them the liberty to change things and you end up not receiving what, what you initially, initially wanted every sunday we continue sharing inspiring home ownership nuggets would you like to share your story just give us a call and you'll be featured right here